Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. It is the next morning here at Macca's truck stop. I just woke up probably like half an hour ago. It is about 8.30. I gotta head out very soon to go to the thrifts and they open up at nine o'clock. And I'll probably be thrifting all day again today and getting work done at another Macca's probably by five o'clock. I wanna show you guys my sleeping situation and setup in my Volkswagen Golf. So it is pretty tight in here. One day eventually, hopefully, I'll be living van life, so this won't be as cramped. But this seem, this sort of setup seems to work for a couple of days on the road. After that, it gets a little bit hectic and really hard to sort of get, get used to. Hopefully, a van will solve that problem with all the space. But this is the bedding situation. It's just a mattress. My legs kind of dangle off the end here. And I've got this shelving set up here with all my stuff on the top. And then underneath, if you don't like being claustrophobic, this won't work for you but I stick my head in there. Then this protects my head from all the light. No light really can get in there. So it is pretty cozy in there. And it also helps to insulate as well. So I just bring the seats forward, have stuff stored on the front passenger seat. And that's basically what it is and what it looks like. And it was pretty cold last night, but I managed to stay pretty cozy. It wasn't that bad at all. And Surly's still there as well. But what I'm planning on doing is heading to another Mac is because I want to say sorry that I didn't get the video uploaded for my Cooking with Cody channel because my laptop just died and there's no charging outlets in that Mac is there to charge my laptop. So I couldn't get that work done. Not done, but started at least. But right now what I'm doing is having some wheat bix I brought some at the Coles we were at just before. Got a big box of wheat bix and I brought some long life milk as well. So I'm just eating this now for breakfast. I'm just eating this sort of food instead of buying food from Macca's and stuff, partially because I want to save money. Last night I could have spent 12 bucks on dinner. Instead I paid like $4 and it was so much cheaper. And also maybe it is a little bit healthier too. Sometimes when I eat McDonald's food I get really sick or like most of the time I get real dried lips and stuff and it just doesn't agree with me. So I'm just better off eating this sort of food that I'm kind of used to eating. I just got out of the Brotherhood St. Lawrence there. I picked up two books looking at about like 25 US each for those and also picked up some baby wipes they had like a whole basket full of them for like a dollar each and there's a fair few in here there's a hundred sheets in this something like this would cost like maybe five bucks plus in the supermarket so getting it for a dollar that's a super good bargain and the reason why I got these is because this is an alternative to a shower. Just like on the bike tour, I'd wipe myself down with like baby wipes and stuff. And considering it's hard to find a shower when on the road like this and I'm sleeping in my car, this is an alternative to having a shower. Sometimes you don't have a shower at the servos like there was one there last night. So this does the job anyway. It's better than nothing. Anyway, I'm at the front of a Vinnie's and a Payless clothing op shop. They're right next to each other. So that Payless clothing place has some really cool stuff like most of the time. It's probably like the fourth or fifth time I've been there in total. And I picked up two really cool pieces today. I picked up some jeans. These are all to sell on eBay, by the way. Picked up some nudie jeans for $9. They are an older version. They're called the Tube Tom. As you can see there, it's still out of focus, but that's what they're called. Size 31s, and these have a resale value of about 30 to maybe $50, but I'm probably just gonna put them up for 30 bucks and get them sold quickly. And for $15, I picked up these Nike Shocks. These are 2009 shoes. The older Nikes seem to do pretty well, especially the Shock version ones and some Air Maxes and stuff. These are the O9s. That's actually what they're called, O-9, spelt out. And these I paid 15 bucks for, and they have a resale value. The comps are looking at about 70 plus dollars. So I'm going to take some photos of both these and the jeans and get them listed up on eBay right away. There we go. We got the photo done. Now I'm going to head off to a Salvo's, which is just across the road here as well. In this vicinity, I'm in Hoppers Crossing. There's probably like four, maybe even six op shops all in the one, like right next to each other on the same road. So I just got out of a Salvation Army thrift store, thrift shop is what they called it, and I picked up a pretty cool piece that I'm going to be putting on Etsy. Now I'm not really trying to get eBay and Etsy stuff, but when I scan for books and I don't find anything, I like to just have a quick search for eBay and Etsy stuff, and if I can find something there, then it's not a complete loss, then I get something out of that store. But I picked up this vintage 
probably from the 90s it's a nike sweater in a size medium there's the tag if i can get that to focus but a size medium and it is an air jordan sweater this thing's pretty cool now i'm gonna try and get 50 bucks for this i see someone else has one listed for maybe 65 and it has similar colors and similar sort of style so this one was made in australia as well but it's a pretty cool piece i'm gonna put it up for 50 bucks on etsy and it should be a quick sell We'll see though, I'll keep you guys updated. So I'm gonna call it a day in terms of sourcing. It is about 2.30, but I wanna get into Maccas and use their Wi-Fi and just especially stuff in regards to cooking with Cody. I wanna apologize again because I put that video up and then you guys said that the link wasn't there and it's because I haven't edited that video yet, but I'm going in there now to edit that video and then I gotta do voiceover stuff for that as well, which I'm planning on doing in the car so it's not, so it's not loud in Maccas but yeah just a bit of work to do so i'm gonna do that i did pretty well today so i'm gonna finish getting that stuff up for sale as well i took photos for most of the stuff i just got to take photos for that air jordan sweater i feel like the last few maccas have been slack and hardcore that one doesn't have any power outlets or any charging points anywhere so i can't get my laptop charged because it's flat so so what i'm gonna do is just go to a library there they are the most reliable when it comes to getting work done so Alright guys, so I made it to, to the Corio library. They close at about 5.30, so I've got maybe two and a half hours to get work done. So let's head on in and get some work done. Shh, gotta be quiet. I'm tossing up whether or not to go back home because the library isn't all too trusty and the Wi-Fi is slow. I think it's just an Australian thing, like the Wi-Fi is super slow. It's going to take, it says like three hours to upload the video. And considering I'm pretty dedicated on getting the daily vlogs uploaded and I've just created that habit that if I don't do it I feel bad in in order to get it uploaded I think my best bet is to head back home and then have it upload overnight that seems to be the way to do it because I just don't have the time to sit around in a library and wait for a video to upload I could get other work done but it's still like so long like three hours is a long time to just sit in the library and they're gonna close in an hour so I don't even have three hours to sit in the library and McDonald's is proving very difficult to find a PowerPoint as well to ensure that my laptop doesn't die during upload. And I think it is a better bet just to head back home, get the video uploaded, and then I've done pretty well anyway this trip so far. Like, I've done really well. The last two days is like almost a week worth of profit that I've made that I'd normally make if I was back home. So it was well worth it. This trip was well worth it. I'll definitely do more trips like this in future. Hopefully more long endured ones, ones that are a bit longer than two days. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little trip that I did take here. Anyway, let's get back home and get this video uploaded. And also when I attempt the upload, like the rest of the Wi-Fi internet just slows right down. So I can't get anything else done while that's uploading, if you know what I mean. So it's just turned out to be a huge nuisance. And to be honest, I've kind of, I'm kind of just over it, so I'm just going to go back home, easily solve the problem, get the video uploaded. I'm not far from home anyway, so it's not a big deal. And considering I did pretty well this trip, I'm happy. Thanks for watching today's vlog, everyone. I am on my way home. I'm about like 10 minutes away. But I just want to wrap up the vlog here and say thanks for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and also drop a comment down below as well if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. I just went to a thrift just before on my way home at about, at about 6.30. And I managed to pick up about three books which are here beside me. Probably like another 100 US right there. So that was a good way to end the night. But thanks guys. See yous.